Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of What She Said right here on RedMediaRadio.com and also if you're viewing this, welcome to What She Said or welcome back to What She Said on video. And I'm your host, Latif, and I'm also the owner of Alive Health and Beauty. You can find me on Facebook at INOJ Health and Beauty. If you don't do Facebook, you can find me on, uh, what is it, Instagram. <laughs> I'm old. I'm old, people. Okay, Instagram. You can find me on Anaj I N O J Beautiful. I'm on TikTok uh, under my name. We're not going to say that. Yet. I'm on TikTok. You got to find me. Okay. <laughs> I'm not fear and act like it. But a lot of my videos uh, regarding Anaj Health and Beauty is transferred right over to Facebook and uh, Instagram. I'm old. Remember that. I'm old. Okay, <laughs> the us, but you, you know, also you can find what she said the card game, and you can find that on Facebook at INOJ Health and Beauty. Go to the store, make your purchase, and I'll get it right out to you. Ladies are having a blast with this game. I cannot wait until I get to play again, which I actually will because I am hosting an event. Uh, what she said the card game in the park right here in Camden, New Jersey. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and shoot us an email or you can actually go to our um, Red Media Radio page and enter in the chat. Just tell me that you're interested. It's going to be really fun. There's no fee for this. Just um, what she said the card game and the participants will be actually getting the charm bracelet. So I'm excited about that. It's the first time I'm actually doing it with the actual charm bracelets to go home with. And then we have Miss Janisa, co-owner of Student Apparel. What you got going on, Janisa? Hey, you can find uh, Student on Google and social media. Search Student Apparel and at www.stuenxproducts.com. We have a few new products coming out. Hats, t-shirts, a few sayings. Oh man, there are some of them are, are, are man, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> and where can they sign up for like the savings and stuff like that? I know I get emails all the time. Uh, just go to the website. Uh, there should be a, a subscribe box that um, pops up um, where you can subscribe, and you definitely get a good a good discount for your birthday. Um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, tonight's topic is flaws and all. As women and as men and as children, we have to sometimes accept each other's flaws, and sometimes we ain't gotta accept it. Some things it's like I'm not accepting that flaw, and I know I have a lot of flaws <laughs> and I don't expect people to accept all of my flaws. Some of them I have to work on. Some of them I'm like, uh, that's, I, I don't know. I don't know. Is this me? Like what's going on? It's confusing. So tonight we're just going to talk about all the flaws. We're going to start with ourselves. Janice, go right ahead. <laughs> what flaws do you have and what do you expect people to accept and what are you willing to work on? <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. I need this session too. Um <laughs> uh what flaws do I have? Well to be honest, I don't really think I have too many. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, no, no. Uh uh. Um but I I definitely would say like my attitude sometimes. Um I don't know if it's a, a flaw because it, it, it does work when it needs to work, but sometimes it's not where it should be. If that makes sense, <laughs> so I'm I'm definitely working on that. Um, I'm trying. <laughs> That's just I am. <laughs> what she said. Uh, be patient with me. <laughs> Patience is a virtue. Um, my flaws. I have a lot of them. I'm like I'm not gonna sit here in front. I have a lot of flaws. Okay, <laughs> I do. <laughs> not knocking you, Janisa, but I do. <laughs> but I would say um, one of my flaws that um, I've had for quite a long time, and I'm working on it, it's getting better, is if I am in a conversation with somebody and a conversation is like turning into a huge disagreement, a.k.a. argument, and I feel like I'm right, <laughs> I <laughs> definitely will talk over you. This has been a complaint. <laughs> with my siblings, with my family, and but the thing that hurts me is, you see, that's why you certain flaws and stuff. You got to check. You got to check yourself because people will always, even if you're not doing that, they'll say, 
See, you always do that. This is what my siblings say to me. You always do that. You don't let people talk. And I'm like, come on now. I I, I worked on that a lot. Like, I worked on that a lot. Right. But it also comes from being ganged up on. <laughs> exactly. Being exactly. ganged up on. And it's like, you're not about to sit here and make me like I'm just the worst person on the planet. That right there, I don't. Now, that's flaws with other people. I can't stand people to try to make themselves right about everything because now I'm just like, my eyes about to be stuck crossed because now I'm really, so you just perfect. So you perfect and I'm out here looking like Godzilla. Like, that'd be a whole negative. <laughs> that's not. Like, and then it's like, people can point out, like, I'll accept when people point out stuff to me. Like, if it's like the obvious truth, then I point out, they'll be like, nah, nah, that, nah, 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 that ain't true. What she it's said. It's like, whatever, whatever. Like, right. you gotta stop, stop. Right. I'm I'm willing to accept who I am and the things that I don't do all right all of the time. Uh, so yeah, I feel you I, I, that that irks me to, to, to no end. Like it just it rips through my soul. Like you said, like, come on, nobody's perfect. Nobody's right. just out there making the right decisions all the time and doing the right nobody. Nobody's in the in a disagreement and argument always saying the right things. Like it just <laughs> Uh, we try we want to be you know you want to be that person who um like you said i i, I totally understand that because i same here you know I, I sometimes i do talk over people when i'm trying to get my point across but again that comes from people not listening to you people not taking you serious she people, said. you know like you said people trying to shut you up trying to shut you down so you're like hey look nah but <laughs> yeah I, I, so I, I totally understand that, especially if I'm right. Uh, you gonna hear this? <laughs> what she said, yo. The, I don't that right there. And I'm not trying to bash nobody, but not at all. Like if somebody lie on me and people decide to go with the lie and be like, no, nah, that's the truth because I know you. It's like, no, nah, I'm never going to accept the lie. If this a lie about me, I'm never going to accept it. What she said, like, I'm not going to stick to a lie. I'll stick to the truth. If it's a lie, I might try. Like, when the younger me might have tried to, you know, go along. Like, nah, no, no. And then eventually, like, after you mature, you're like, okay, yeah, you was telling the truth. But don't sit up here and make it like, I'm, and look, you and a million people can believe it. If it's a lie, it's a lie. And I don't care. I don't did. care. So all that, you're not letting me talk. And especially with, like, if I know what you're about to say, and if I, but you don't even know what I was about to say, then you're like, okay, go ahead and say it. And then they say what you was about to rebuttal anyway. It's like, so you really just wanted to make me look like I'm just crazy or I'm just like a bad person or I just go all over talking all over people all the time. Like, hmm. Right, what she oh. said. It's not possible. No, you can't do anything all of the time. Like, you can't always do Nothing. anything. Like there's not. That's it. That's uh, but that's that's also something I was. I was. My mom was like, "Stop! Don't say that. Nothing. All that always never. Don't say that because it's said. not possible. And if if I'm always doing that, why you want to be around me? What she said. <laughs> that's that's what I want to know. I Bye. love my company. <laughs> Hmm. I love going in my little what? spaceship to Latifa Tur and said, <laughs> you know, my little Latifs be just, you know, <laughs> jealous with each other, man, Checking each other. I love to check mm-hmm. myself. I don't, I ain't gotta no. go around announcing it, but I'm what working on saying? myself. But you're not about to sit here and be bringing. No, we're not doing that. We're not because yeah. I would never do that to anyone. Like if I see, That's like true. I'm not. Why you want to sit there and try to down somebody? Right? Yeah. I, absolutely. But that, what's another flaw of yours that you, you know... <laughs> <laughs> um, Another flaw of mine? I... <laughs> uh, I'm, 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 I, I, I'm done with things like... It doesn't take a whole lot for me to be like, you know what? This is it. This is... This is, this is too much. So, I guess maybe patience in a sense Mm -hmm. but not quite because i'm patient in other areas right but like when it comes to bs and when it comes to like the attitudes and stuff like that or like people thinking they can just you know do whatever or say whatever and it's about no i'm 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 just so i guess that's not really a flaw (laughs) (laughs) because some people they look at it as a flaw no, nah, maybe. No, nah, that's nobody. because that's just you know. 
Right, but nobody. I feel like nobody should be worth your sanity, making mm-hmm. you feel like you're crazy, making you feel less than what you are. What she said you know, none of that stuff. So, no, I'm, I just don't have the patience. I, I mean, I, I'm a little more patient now that I'm older, but like, man, my patience and stuff. I'd be like, you gotta go. <laughs> I'm bad with it. I don't care who it is. I, I just, it's too much. <laughs> yeah, too what she much. said. What she said. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Um, that would probably go with my next flaw. Would be um, <laughs> <laughs> quick. You know, some everything don't need an answer. Like I'm learning that, and mm-hmm. for a while I would, you know, like you come at me, I'm gonna check you right then and there, like right then and there. But now I'm learning, like, nah, it ain't worth it, like. Mm-hmm. Got too much to lose, you know, and it wouldn't be like a, a rude, you know, like a, oh my god, getting all extra. But it's like if you come at me, like you know, you see, the best example I could give is uh, somebody talking loudly, and I know they're referring to me, like this is in the outside world. And instead of me just like whatever, if it, it don't apply, let it fly. I, like first of all, that's I don't know who you you know. That's not what I'm about or whatever, whatever, whatever. But it's like no, nobody got time for that. Mm, but you, you know, that's a flaw I definitely fix. Well, mainly because I have no reason. I mean, I have no choice but to fix it because me and you know my <laughs> friend are together all the time. He's like ah 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 ah. <laughs> no, no, and I. Hey, like, you know, don't let everybody know every trick up your sleeve, and it don't have to be a trick. But don't let everybody know what you're thinking, basically. What she said. Sometimes you gotta let them think they're getting away. What she said. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's yeah, that's something I'm working on too. Yeah. It's like you know, like because like you said, sometimes I just have, I just, uh, you, it's not even, it ain't even worth your time. Mm-hmm. All right, to even put that energy into it, so I got yeah, I get it. Yeah, what she said. What else she got? Um, <laughs> hmm. <laughs> uh, um, uh, what a flaw, my me and food. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this damn food, this love affair we had. <laughs> oh, oh, it's getting on my damn nerves, though. Mm-hmm. I'm trying, I'm trying, mm-hmm. I'm trying. Next time you see me, I'm hoping you know <laughs> something. <laughs> I mean, like, see me like full, you know. Uh-huh. Not, not on the screen, because you know, sometimes on the on the screen, you might not be able to tell, but. Mm. <sighs> yeah, we love each other too much. <laughs> All right, it's okay. Um, let me tell you another fall. <laughs> I'm trying to get real, real, real with it. Cause there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of. I'm trying to. <laughs> it's, it's a work, in, a work in progress. Um, a flaw I might have. Uh, well, um, well, I guess this will fall into the men. I'll save that one. I'll save it <laughs> for myself personally. Uh. I'm not giving it all my all. Having, you know, these thoughts like, okay, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and then I'm like, nah, I'm going to chill. That's <laughs> <laughs> what she said. <laughs> I'm going to chill. It's not, you know. Mm. That's a huge flaw for myself that, you know, not pushing myself. And that's no, I know people just stop and enjoy life. Trust me, I definitely am one of those people I believe in stopping, you know, and enjoying life and everything, you know, it's balance and all that. But I take that sometimes and use that as an excuse to not go, you know, it's like if I have in my head, because that's another flaw, not writing the list down thinking I'm too old, oh, please. <laughs> what is she saying? You know, like, I can remember that. <laughs> that's what you're talking about. But it's like, you know, why not do, if you, if you know it's three things you really want to do, why not do it? Just do all three. Don't go for the easiest. Go for the hardest first. Trying to take the easy way out. What she said. No. Yeah, I agree. Cause I, I, don't, I don't feel like I think people. A lot of people want life to be easy, but I don't. I, don't, I personally don't think it's, it was meant to be easy. 
I think it was meant that, like you said, you you just live life. You live, you go through things, you change, you adapt, you grow, you learn all of these things. I don't I don't think it was meant to be just like skating and sliding through smoothly and nothing Man. ever happens and you never go through it. No, nah, because if you don't go through the things you go through, <laughs> where would you be? Yeah. You know, I think about that like, shh, that's it myself. <laughs> you talking about yeah. flaws. <laughs> yeah, that's what you saw my my anxiety. I don't um mm-hmm. I don't like to label myself nothing because I feel like the mind is so far I don't wanna take anything in and label myself. But <clears throat> if I had to be totally truthful, I definitely suffer from anxiety, especially like at bedtime. I start like crying and stuff. Like I be trying to turn and <laughs> <laughs> Red be thinking I'm ignoring him. He don't know I'm over there balling out, thinking about oh God, what about I wake up? Oh my God! Looking at the babies and like I want to be here for my children so bad. Then I tone myself back in and I start thanking God, you know, for allowing me to see the day and allowing, you know, allowing my baby. But it's like the anxiety sometimes can get overwhelming down to like I'm about to go out in public like I'm telling like and like oh god please don't so then I want to make it back to my like I worry too much sometimes I just worry too much yeah so that's like a huge flaw but the one thing I do to keep it in check is I just immediately start being thankful like okay well I'm thankful that I am able to walk and go out you know and have my mind and I'm able to be cognitive of certain situations and things and people but yeah that's a flaw for myself that I don't know if it'll ever go away I really don't <laughs> yeah what she said I, I don't I, yeah I understand that anxiety a little bit I do because especially like you said dealing with pe- my, I, I, say, I would say I more have as far as going outside Mm-hmm. Um, and dealing with people and being around people is not really my thing. So I guess that would that's that would be a little little bit of a flaw, maybe. Uh-huh. I'm antisocial. Like I really, really don't like dealing with people. I really, yeah, <laughs> I really don't. It's, I have to hype myself up <laughs> to deal with, and not not like family. I'm not talking about like family. Right. I don't know. It's easier when you're dealing with family. You're dealing with like certain friends or like close friends. It's easier to just get out there and be, you know, be around them. But like people I don't know, and like large crowds of people and stuff like that, I'm just like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. <laughs> but the, but I like to have fun. So people, right. like, when I'm around, I am fun. So people don't really know that about me. Like right. you don't know the pep talk I went through. Right out here and do this but you you don't see that because i'm just like hey you know? right so. what she said well to sum it up before we take it to the break to sum it up we have flaws and we're working on them we are working on them and we probably can take the whole show talking about ourselves <laughs> but for now we'll take a quick break and we'll be right back everybody we're back right here on redmediaradio.com and if you're viewing us you are viewing us on our youtube channel <clears throat> this is what she said with myself and my lovely co-host miss janisa and tonight's topic is really deep it's very therapeutic i'm not it's it's you know <laughs> it's, it's a good one it's flaws and all so we just talked about ourselves and i ain't gonna lie, i'll probably go back to myself when we're talking about the women and the men i'm sure i'll probably be going in on myself again but janisa right now we're going to talk about the women the flaws that, that that we can't accept and some flaws we can accept. Uh, flaws I can accept with women is the phoniness. Um, I, I just can't. It's, it's, I, it's, I just can't. Because it's, it's, I feel like it's so, it's so easy to be real and be honest. Yep. I do. I, don't get me wrong. We have our moments. I've had moments in my life where I've been phony. I'm not saying that <laughs> I'm perfect. I'm not for real. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm not saying I've I've never done like I. I'm not saying these things. Yeah, the fair feeling. Sometimes you got to. Right, but I've never done it to the magnitude that some people go to. You know, I just mine is like this. Other people are like, ah. <laughs> why are you so phony? <laughs> <You know? laughs> Um, I can accept 
uh, the a flaw of not being perfect. Uh huh. What she said. But being honest mm-hmm. and being real, I can't accept what she that. Said. What she said. Um, let me see. A flaw that I can't accept, but I have accepted <laughs> with other females <laughs> is uh, I think I've said this before that whole bipolarism stuff. Mm-hmm. And I know as women we get moody sometimes, so that's when I accept it. But I don't accept <laughs> if you gonna do this to me all the time. Like that's one good. minute you cool with me, next minute you not. One minute you answer my text, next minute you not. And that plays a part with my anxiety. When I text somebody and they don't text right back, it's not because I'm like, oh my god, like she could text me back right now. Stuff start going through my head, like, oh my god, I hope everything's okay. And especially with all this sex trafficking and stuff, I'm like, oh my god, I've done it to you before. Remember, I was like, yeah. I like it, it don't be no negative stuff. I'd be really like worried. As a matter of fact, I just did it to my son's girlfriend. Like she didn't text me. We always text each other good morning. Mm-hmm. And I'm like freaking. I literally like start freaking like, oh my god, she's a little tiny little thing. She's younger. Oh my god, she's the perfect candidate. Oh my god, to take care of her. And she finally texted back. She left, and I was like, girl, I was worried. Like, <laughs> I be worried. Like, I just be like scared. It's a shame we had the, the day and time we live in. But I be dead. Like, not. Nah, it don't be no selfish stuff. Like, she knows she can answer me. It'd be like, oh my god, is everything okay? What she say? Like, yeah. is everything okay? But that whole like bipolar stuff, it's that, and you, the red flag for me with that is the the people that you meet. Like, girl, I'm bipolar. Like that literally happened. Somebody oh, really? said that to me, and they turned out to be just like fake. <laughs> and it was like, why? First of all, for you to say out loud, I'm bipolar, you're basically letting me know I'm a shitty person. Because what real bipolar person goes around now saying, yeah, I can be bipolar at times, you know? Like, what she said. <laughs> you kind People- of. Bi- yeah, right, right. People with issues don't go around announcing their issues. <laughs> they, they really don't, because a lot of people don't think that they have the an issue. issue. Like it's, she said. they don't think that they have an issue. They don't think being bipolar is an issue. Right. They don't go, oh, hey, hey, look at me. I'm, I'm, I'm this. I'm that. No, people, no people with real problems don't do that. Uh-huh. <laughs> like you said, they just let me throw that out there to justify my shittiness. <laughs> what she said? No. <laughs> she said it was a pound of shit too. Mm. Pound of shit. Mm-mm-mm. But yeah, I don't like that. I'm like, see, right there, I know. Mm, I ain't dealing with you. You can be bipolar right by yourself. What she said. People in your household, <laughs> let them deal with it. But that is just no. What she said. I know I ain't the same all the time, but for the most part, I'm pretty like myself. Like I'm pretty. You can ask my children a little high energy. I think for my daughter sometimes, I think I'm a little too high. <laughs> too much for her. <laughs> like, I know that's a flaw. I know she'd be like, and she don't grow up. <laughs> like, seriously. What? <laughs> she said. Because <laughs> you know, I told y'all, I'm like, man. Hmm. <laughs> the, the jokes keep coming. But no, nah, I mean, it depends. Because now I'm like, forget forget certain people. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you ain't hear my good jokes. Forget you. <laughs> Mm-hmm. That and my gifts. I know people. I, if she don't have a real <laughs> conversation, I am so addicted to the gifts. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna text my son girlfriend to ask her like, I get on your nerves with them gifts because she'll just cut the conversation. I mean, I know she probably like, what in the hell? <laughs> that is I think funny. they so cool. I think they so cute. <laughs> yeah. So. Yeah, I send them to my granddaughter. Yeah. Yeah, it's it. She if she responds, I'm like you're seven. Like what? What are you doing? Like she knows how she will, but it takes sometimes it takes her a while. And I'm just like, what are you doing? All right? <laughs> is your life your life is busier than mine? <laughs> what she said? It seems that way. I mean, shoot, girl, she just came back from a, a trip to Florida. I'm like, okay, oh. Uh. Yeah, for a whole she was down there. Well, I mean, she was of course she wasn't by herself, right? <laughs> She was down there for a whole week. I'm like, okay, I see you living your little life. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. <laughs> yes, it is. Dude. What else you got for the women? Um, uh, let me see. Balls are kind of that weird. Just not speaking to other women. It's just weird. What she said. <laughs> I, I just can't accept. I, I just, it's, I don't know. I, I don't know if that's a flaw, but it's a flaw to me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cause, 
I, it's it's some silly. Yeah. I'm just like, hey, I'm not trying to get your number. I ain't gonna right. call you later. I'm not. I'm not gonna be at your house later. <laughs> right. I don't. I don't want to be your friend, girl. I just. I just. I'm trying to uplift us as women. What she said. That's all. Yeah. Um. But I can't. I can't accept a woman who is who is just like that. Genuinely. Right. Not these. Not these fake uplifting women. What she <laughs> the, said. The, the genuine ones. What she said. Yep. 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 Real you win, and next thing you know, the weirdness starts. It's like, hmm. wow, like just wow. What she said. Like, it's not that hard to really be that way. It's really not. It's not. It's really not. I, th- I just, I don't, I don't know why these some of these women insist on making certain things so hard that it's not. It's not. Hmm. <laughs> really not. Um, you say flaws that I can accept and not accept. Um, you know, it's gonna sound weird, but I can accept it. It may not be a flaw to them, but I can accept, um, because at least I know where I stand. I can accept you, uh, being all extra friendly with me when no one's around, but then when your girls is around, you change up on me. It's like, cool, okay. At least I know. What she said. I, I know. Uh, my feelings ain't hurt over. I would never do it. I would never change up on somebody just because other people are around. But it's happened to me. You know, it's going to happen. But, you know, it's like, okay, I can accept it. That's what she said. You know? At least I know now not to be by myself with you too much because I know it ain't real. <laughs> Leave it at what that. She, what she said. Yeah. I can that's definitely the- accept the change up. That's, you know, that's a personal call. That's too much. Yeah. <coughs> um, let's see, why Janice and Garrison together? What else can I uh <laughs> me? Oh You're my god. I know those frogs in your throat. I know. Yeah, um, mm. I'm trying to, <laughs> mm. all right, I know we're trying to hold it in. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's a flaw for me. Like at the wrong time, doing stuff at the wrong time. <laughs> what she said. It's like, you know, just. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Right. What else you got for the women? Um, shoot. Uh, damn. I I'm, I'm gonna think of some clever stuff later too. I know it. Uh-huh. <laughs> um. Damn. What the women? What I can't accept. Or can't accept. Mm, or can't accept. Um. Either or. I can accept a, a real woman who who is. Who is not gonna judge you and think they know everything about you based oh, on no. you stories you tell them? So annoying. Um, <clears throat> that's something I can. Okay, that's yeah. Thank you, thank mm-hmm. you, because that's something that's something I can't accept from women is the judgment of other women and the putting down of other women and the, the disbelief of other women. Mm-hmm. Especially when it comes when you involve a man, mm-hmm. it's like, come on, yeah, some women lie, but a lot of women aren't lying. But she said, no, like let's 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 stop, let's stop. Just it's it's usually when it's when it's a man involved, like yeah, what? like what, ladies, we gotta stop it. Mm-hmm. They, they, usually they ain't even really about much anyway so you're not really (laughs) what's the prize (laughs) what she said for the family members that think they know them better than you it's like Mm -hmm. I mean I think I've seen his post like the one he's with in that house no sorry moms sisters they know him better it can be a tough pill to swallow or you can just let that man live his life I what definitely had to tell people like no, it, it might hurt you if that's your child, if that's your brother. They know him, you they know him better. I mean, I don't want to get personal, but a uh, 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 mate of somebody close to me said something, and I was like, just shut up, because I'm like, well, unless they change, and they was like, he did. I'm like, okay, you lay with him, not me, right? <laughs> so I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I'm the same way with um. My sons and their girlfriends. One of my son's girlfriends, me and her, are really close. 
and she say stuff, you know, whatever. And I'm just like, ah, I'm not that mom that's going to be like, no, no, that's my baby. I know him. I'm not going to go back and forth. Be mm -hmm. in your life because I want you two to have a, you know, they talk, you know, you want to get married. I want the relationship to be strong. I want to be nothing but an anchor in that. So yes, you if you're telling me something about my son, you're the one with them, not me. So I'm not about to sit here and be like, well, I know ever since he was little, he used to do that. So it must what? be right. <laughs> like, no, that's what not my doing? place. Any that's not my place anymore. I don't what ever want to be that mom. Like, I've never stepped over any boundaries, even little teenage love and all that. Nope, not my place. I want my boys to be independent young men. Yeah, they're going to make mistakes. Yeah, I'll be disappointed. Yeah, I might give you a pep talk, but do I expect you to just take my word, face value, and do exactly what I say? No. I'm not going to stare you wrong, but at the same time, I need you to be a man and not... I need to bring that back. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah. What's she saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. You don't know him the way you, his, his girlfriend, wife. Yeah. You don't know his him girlfriend. that way. Right. You don't like, know him yeah. that way. I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that most men are not who they are with their family as who yep. they are with their wife, girlfriend, whoever. What she said. Even They're her not, ex girlfriend doesn't know. Like I would never exactly. say something to my children's uh, soon to be stepmom or whatever the relationship is, and be like, "Oh no," because I know he like that has nothing to do. I no. don't have no. I don't know him like that anymore. I don't. It, people change, and that's yes. great. Relationships are different. Every I've never been in a relationship where it's the exact same each time. Like each relationship, no, it's no. You might do, you might go to the same McDonald's, but what that's you say, like, right. It's the, even the experience doing things with the person is different. Different, yeah. So, yeah, you don't. Yeah, like you said, I, I try to say, I <laughs> don't put me in it. Like you said, yeah. if you need me, I got you. I'll be your anchor. I'll be your shoulder. Mm -hmm. But I'm not gonna be. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like that. I don't what know my say? daughters the way their boyfriends know them. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I, I don't. It's and that's but that's okay and that's what as as women moms it's we be okay with that what she said be okay with the fact that you don't know your son the way his girlfriend or his wife yes does. and don't be blaming not, her don't blame the girlfriend don't blame the wife he's a grown man said. he is a grown man mm -hmm. and i know i'm probably gonna go through some things i might get into a little tip but like i said i'm that mom that's gonna be like girl really Girl, daughter, are you sick? Really? We're not doing that. We're going to get it together. We're going to get it together. Like, we're not doing this. You remember all the I love you's and you remember <laughs> what she said. It. Like, no, we're going to keep this relationship strong. As long as you and my son and if you have his offspring, we about to, we going to make this work. Like, that's just what it is. What she said. We're making this work. But on that yeah. note, we're going to take a quick break. Darn. Last segment. This is a good one. We might have to continue this one. But we I'm gonna down. We're going to take a quick break and we're going to talk about the men. Maybe we'll do a blend of the men and children for the last one. Right here on RedMediaRadio.com. Ethereal Collection. I know you're up there. I can feel you now. I know that you're afraid. You're afraid of us. You're afraid of change. I don't know the future. I didn't come here to tell you how this is going to end. I came here to tell you how it's going to begin. I'm going to hang up this phone, and then I'm going to show these people what you don't want them to see. I'm going to show them a world without you. Ethereal Collection, the fashion line inspired by Red Media Radio. All right, everybody, we're back with what she said right here on RedMediaRadio.com. Me and Janissa are enjoying this conversation. <laughs> enjoying it. <laughs> Talking about flaws and all the stuff we can accept, don't accept. That's your business, not my business. Your flaw, work on yourself, whatever. <laughs> it's life. But we already talked about ourselves, winning on ourselves first. Talked about the, what did we talk about? The women. 
And now we're going to talk about the men and children. We'll blend it. Go ahead, Janita. With the man, what I can't, what a flaw. I don't even know if it's a flaw because I don't think respect is that hard. Mm -hmm. So what I cannot accept is disrespect. What she said. Can't, Can't do it, won't do it. Get your shit together or go on about your business because um, I care about myself. What she said? I I don't care. You know, it's so funny with men. Men that uh, uh, kind of t- goes into what we were talking about with the women. Like as far as men, they know a few things about you, and they think they know your whole history. They think they know your whole story. She they said. think they know what you're willing to accept and not yeah. accept from people based yeah. on some shit you said. Like, uh, yeah, that was a different me, though. You, you don't, did. you don't even understand the evolution. Like every year, I'm a different person. I'm not shit. Sometimes I don't even recognize myself. What so, uh, no, I'm not. What you said? Let me see. For the men, I only have very, very. I'm very easy to get along with. Oh, I, I, I know I am. What she said? Um, two things, two flaws that I will not accept. Uh, cheating on me because you can be open and honest about that. There are plenty of people I have ran into guys that have been, you know that uh back in my days, you know when I was younger and stuff. That some guys will straight say be like, yo, you know I I love women, you know what I mean? But can we talk like? But I'm just it's like I'm glad you told me that, but no. So I'm she going, that's just not my thing. I don't do cheating. Even though I have dealt with it for years, but now that I'm full grown, I no daughters, I do not won't accept it, won't accept cheating, won't accept flirting. Um yeah, I know men have eyes and look, but I will not accept that shit. Not for you will not do that to me. You will not try you you won't do it. Um that shit we they have eyes too. Yeah, I, I yeah. hate I hate when I hate when people say that shit about like men or uh, I'm sorry, cousin, but yeah. when they say, you know, like about men, oh men men have one that shit, women do too. Right. <laughs> and but if nobody's gonna disrespect you like that, like you right. know, if you're in a happy relationship, why'd you need to? Exactly. What yep. you say? And, yep, and, and and uh physical abuse or them temper tantrums. I can't stand oh, why are you throwing a temper tantrum? What she said like <laughs> Why are you throwing a temper tantrum? Oh, oh, oh! So annoying. I tell my own son, it's like, why are you? Ugh. Nobody want to hear all that. I want to beat them like real life. <laughs> just take, take, take them out, be- outside, and just go to work on them. Like in my head, I do that every time I see a grown man. Oh shit! Even a kid, depending on the kid, where if you at, I don't do that. I don't like that public stuff. Don't don't. <laughs> that's 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 one thing I can't accept. I I do not like public. I I like if you want to get into it, we can get into it in private. But I don't like that public. Yeah. We're in the store. You want to be that's so embarrassing <sighs> and childish. What she said. Like, Ain't nobody got time. Like, what are you doing? Exactly. And then, but you, how how do you think that makes you look as a man? What she said. If you think. If you think people are not looking at you as a man and being like, damn, look at him. What is yeah. wrong? With-? I don't care. They're not going to say it. Yeah. But you think people don't see it? Do you think people are looking at you like, hmm. In this day, you know, now, like, everybody recording everything. Like, I'm sorry. I ain't trying to go viral with that. I got to walk out. No. You go <laughs> what she <you> said. <laughs> For what? For what? Then, then, then I really had to do something because now, now my ego is in the way. <laughs> right, which so if I get recorded and true and really, really embarrassed. It, just, just go ahead and move out because <laughs> it's not gonna be what pretty for you. I, no. Mm-mm. What she said? Uh, let me see. What, like, we both were talking. What, what you got? What else you got for the man? <laughs> uh, <Atlanta. laughs> um, uh, hmm. the the unnecessary lies. What she said? I can't. I can't accept honesty. What she said? Yeah. Like you said earlier, I could. I could accept a man coming to me saying, "Hey, this is who I am." Mm. What, what you trying to do? Instead of being like, "Oh no, I this ain't me. I'm. I'm." I'm this. I'm the opposite. I'm not like any other man. And I'm like, you saying the same thing? How, yeah. Because how many men you met that say <laughs> I'm not like everybody else? Because yeah, I know I've met said. so many. My friends, my fat. Y'all, y'all pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> 
Y'all say the same lines. I'm not saying they're all the same because that's not possible. Right. But just come on, dude. They just <laughs> once they say that, yeah. Once they say that, I'm like, oh yeah, he's he's probably pretty pretty much like. <laughs> what she said. What she said. No, I can't stand unnecessary lines. It's, just tell me what I gotta work with. Tell me, tell me the truth. That way, I'll know. Exactly what I'll she know. said. I like that. Yeah. I, I respect that. Like. Yeah. It's it's a it's a turn on for me. Like yeah. I love it. Like just like you said, I want to know so I know how to deal with you mentally. I don't like yeah. to be confused and and trying to fit and lost and like oh shit no that's not who he, why did he say that if that's not no yeah it's too much yeah what she said let me see if the men the flaws and all what can I accept and what can I not accept these men. Mm, mm, mm. Um, hmm, you know what? This is humorous, <laughs> but don't eat my food. Don't, don't. When I'm cooking, and, and, and yeah, Red like to say, I throw them under the bus, but he know, he knows. If I'm cooking, if like I'm frying chicken, okay, and you see the chicken, the, the, the cooked chicken, don't come out and take, don't, like, I don't know why, like, it's, it's petty. I'm not a petty person, but that's the petty that creep up. Like, I'd be real mad. Like, inside, I don't say nothing. But, like, if he was to run the cameras back, if he probably would see the way my eyes, like, cross and roll and everything else, like, I'd be dead mad. <laughs> <laughs> like, it ain't 60 pieces of chicken I'm frying, but it's like, what is you had saying? to take one? Like, because I was really, like, and then mm-hmm. you gonna take the one that looked real good fried. Like nobody told you to do that. You could have waited. And like sometimes I will, but like you know that's taken away from you. That's so petty. <laughs> what she said. Like it's not the account. Because <laughs> you know it's not, but it's like, why are you doing it? Uh, yeah. That's probably not even the flaw. That's probably a flaw on my end. Like, damn. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Men been doing this for centuries. All right. <laughs> but yeah, that's the ball. The mom and me. Sometimes I be thinking I'm everybody, mom. Like, chill. You, you chill. You're not everybody. <laughs> Stop that. <laughs> yeah. Um. Mm, let me see. Something I can't accept. Uh, that misogyny. That 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 attitude. <sighs> hmm. I don't mind doing things as far as. You know, I don't go to work outside of the house. Uh huh. So I feel like if you're at home, what's wrong with cleaning up? What she said. You know what I mean? But I'm not the maid. What she said. So I don't like that. Don't treat me like I'm a child, like I'm your child. Cause uh-huh. I'm not. Oh, that's, oh gosh, that's another thing. Yeah, oh. that's another thing. Yeah, I don't oh. like that. I'm too old. I'm 42. Oh, yeah. To be treated like a child is like oh, it's, it's it's just so oh. right. <laughs> yeah, let the man leave, but don't once you yeah that that give me a whole attitude like give, give me something to follow. I, I feel like this. I hate I hate when men be like oh that's another thing they should like you should just follow them because they're a man. Yeah, <laughs> what you mean? Simply because they're a man. No, you gotta you have to give somebody something to follow. I'm not gonna yeah. I don't believe in blindly following anybody. Just just because you're my man, I should just blindly but follow whatever yeah. you do. No, no. Communicate, respect. What she said. Give me something to follow. I, I got you. Right. What she said. <laughs> like I said I'm too hard. I'm too hard headed. I wanna say I'm headstrong, but like I said, I just like to be in my own world. So like sometimes when I'm moving about in the house, I'll be very feeling like even the children, like you interrupted my world. Like what she said, leave me alone. Like, did you really like <laughs> even down to the baby, like did you really like did you really have to move your bowels or did you just really move your bowels so I can have to stop what I'm doing to change you? What he just said, yes, I feel you. Like just because you see, I had to tell him sometimes. But just because you see me doesn't mean I'm here. What she said? I, I don't care if you see me walking around smiling. What I don't she care said? what you see me doing. No, just because you see all of that doesn't mean I'm for you. What she said? That's another flaw. I'm gonna take it off the name of these children, these girls. I get in the shower, and next thing I know, I feel a little body. Why are you in the shower with me? 
bathroom. Like, really? I was in the zone so much that I didn't even notice you, like, to feel you in the bathroom taking your clothes off. Like, you. And then I'd be having the music on. My daughter, my five year old, she'll hop up and be dancing with me. Like, wow. Like, you just popped up out of nowhere in the shower. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. It's hey, cute. You, I, you know, I get out of it real fast. I'm like, oh, because I'm not going to be able to do this much longer. But mm -hmm. I'm like, wow, you really just heard the shower and hopped up in the shower. Yeah. You got there to be jamming. Like, you ain't even giving no time. You came in and started dancing. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least she came in with good energy. <laughs> like, wow. Yeah. I guess that's the, good, that's the good part about it. She came in with the good energy. Uh -huh. But yeah, I feel like you don't know, understand. You just sometimes that that time we need to ourselves. It don't have to be long. Yeah, I, I might just need thirty minutes to an hour or yeah. something. Just, just leave me alone. What she said? Pretend like I'm not here. What she said? <laughs> Pretend like I'm a ghost and you can't see me. <laughs> for real, that ain't never gonna happen, man. Mm. What else you got for these men? Close this out. Um. Oh, let me see. Um, Jeopardy music. I know, right? I really <laughs> see, uh, what they what they need to start with. Um, put oh shoot, here's it. oh yeah. Let me close this. I'm I, I got you with this one. Um, nah. I can't accept you saying that. I'm not being honest about what your mother said. <laughs> I can't, because I have no reason to lie about that. What she I, said? I, oh, yeah. I can't, I can't accept a man who who just doesn't, is not willing to believe what I say, especially when I've proven that I'm a pretty honest person. What she said? Yes, I, I don't get me wrong. I'm not, I would never say I'm perfect, and I've never told a lie, and I've never been... But if you know me, you know, if I say somebody said something, and it, I, especially something rude and disrespectful and uh -huh. out, of, out of the way, I, she said it. But she said. She said it. She did. <laughs> she said it. <laughs> I'm so glad you know, I'm not that mom. I'm so glad I'm not that mom. She, what she said. I'm like, these... And these, these, some of these heifers are older than me and you. Yeah. No. Nope. Like, girl, you got to get your mess together because you are too old to be for all that nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. Too old. Yeah, you got to let your son grow into the man he is. What I she said. Repeat it again. These girls, if they know him. And, and I take it as a uh, compliment. Like, okay, because I'm a woman, so I know you must really love him. Because we only boast about men if we are really if we really love them. Mm -hmm. So she's going on and on like she knows him so much. She probably does know him so much because she took the time out and opened up to learn him. What it might be. Now, fortunately, it's a love that I do cherish for them. But even if it wasn't, you got to accept that. Like, you just have to. You got to accept it. What she said. You, you do. don't know what that girl. You don't know what, what you know, she had his back on. or what, You don't know. Like, that's not your place. It's, it's really not you our don't. place as mothers to be all up in that. It's weird. What she said. Yes, yeah. ma'am. And that is so crazy because some of them think that they're, like, that's their right. As a, No, you're no, his mother. Not. You're not his woman. No, it's His not. woman has a right to be all up in his shit. Not you his mother. Or not. It's not for us to approve of. It's really not. What she said. Say, say it again, cousin. Say <laughs> it again. <laughs> it is not. I, re I refuse. I promise I will not be that mom. Now, no, can I say the same thing about my daughters? Yeah, I could probably say the same thing. But if you're doing my baby wrong, then... Hmm. That's different. Ah, yeah. It's, uh, <laughs> if you're doing my baby girl wrong. That's different. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. If I know my daughter's a sweetheart and you know, you're not about to make her feel because men have a way of heartening you, you know, like, nah. Mm -mm. What she said? I'm going to need you to keep all your feminine energy. Don't let no men because they got a way of turning us hard, you know, making us feel like we got to be hard now. Right. Like, yeah. What she said, right? Don't let, don't let them like, ladies. We gotta stop. That's 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 my. We gotta stop letting them feel like we're less than or we're something. Yeah. Else. 
we're not this or we're not that because we don't do certain things because we're not willing to put up with their bullshit because mm-hmm. we ain't willing to just accept anything. You don't have to, baby girl. Yeah, you don't have to. What's from no man, none. In there, done that. Huh. I was able to jump back into my feminine, but like, no, we're not. Mm-mm. What she said? That ain't good. Nope. Right, don't get it twisted. I, I don't care what I did in the past. I, I, I'm, I don't live in the past. What she said? So, I ain't there anymore. What she said? <laughs> mm. Oh, man. But this has been a good one. We might have to continue this one. We yes. might have to continue this next week because I'm like, my head is like spinning. But until then, tune back in every Saturday at 7 o'clock. Ugh, I can't even talk. That's a flaw. Sometimes I talk too fast. I be all over the place. 7 what o'clock Eastern Standard Time right here on RedMediaRadio.com. I'm your host, the team, the owner of Anaj Health and Beauty. You can find me on Facebook at INOJ Health and Beauty. And you can find me on Instagram. Say it right. Instagram at INOJ Beautiful. All one word. And yeah, from there you you'll be able to find me. You'll be able to find me. You can find that <laughs> game on Facebook. And Janisa. Yes, love yourself. Mind your business, moms. <laughs> <laughs> you can find <laughs> that's what I get for talking. <laughs> no shade. It's really no shade. We are it is it. It isn't. Uh, you can find student on Google, social media, search student apparel. We're on Instagram, Facebook, uh, Pinterest, Tumblr. Um, sh- I just created a, a YouTube. We have a YouTube channel. Go okay. on there, subscribe, like some videos. I'm still working on it, so it's not a whole lot of videos. Okay, okay. Um, I will check it out. Right, and then you can go on the website at www.stuenxproducts.com. Of course, you know you can find me right here Saturday, 7 p.m. for what she said on redmediaradio.com. Keep it locked. I love the music. Check out T for her products. I'm still using them, even though I don't get to take pictures all the time. With Thank them. you. But I, st- I love them. I'm, I'm getting down to the, I'm scraping the bottom of it. Right. <laughs> so, I love it. I love it. You check out she products are awesome. Thank you. Well, we all know I love students. If I don't love nothing about students, I love everything about students, but those cats are the bomb. I keep, I tell everybody, you want a good cat, you better check out student apparel. I'm telling you. <laughs> Dude, I keep my cap in a special place. I don't let them girls get to it. Nope. Ah, baby, baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Well, this is the What She Said right here on RedMediaRadio.com. Keep it locked.